Here I have a piece of graph paper that's got concentric circles around the point one zero. Sorry, that's zero one. And I have a horizontal line that's a little bolded here at y equals negative one. Now earlier in the course we saw that if I try to find points that are equidistant from a point and a line, for instance, if there's a point over here that's um, one away from both, and there's a point over here that's two away from both, that we would get some kind of parabola. What if instead we try to find points, which I'll call P, collection of points, so that, let's call this point F, so that FP is not equal to P, whoops, to P, T, where F is the distance of the directrix, but instead it's equal to, it's, it's closer, it's, it's smaller distance, it's three-fourths. So, let's see how this could happen. This could happen when PD is 4 and FP is 3. So for FP to be 3, it has to be on this 1, 2, 3rd circle. But for PD to be 4, it has to be on the 1, 2, 3, 4th line. In other words, uh, here's 1, 2, 3, it's on this line here. And it's on 1, 2, 3 circles. So this, these two points here and here. Those points have the property that they are three away from F while also being one, two, three, four away from D. Another way this this could happen is if I'm eight away from D and six away from F. And that would actually happen uh, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up here. That point is six away from F and eight away from uh, D. I could also, those are the only multiples of 4 that I could use, but if I do things like use 6, I could be 6 away and 4.5 and away, or 2 away and 1.5 away. And if I did that, I would get more points. And if we make all these points, we see that they seem to form, at least these points that I have, seem like they might form an ellipse instead of a parabola. It would be nice to find the point that's over here approximately. It's, and I'm going to show you how to, how to calculate the coordinates of that vertex. Uh, here's sort of an enlarged version of that. So here's F and here's D. And this distance is 2 because this point is 0, 1. And this is Y equals negative 1. So I want to find a point somewhere closer to F so that if this distance, I'll call that X, and I'll call this distance 3 fourths X because it has to be closer to F than it is to D. In other words, PD has to, FP has to be 3 fourths PD. Well, when I add those things together, X plus 3 fourths X has to equal 2 just because that happens to be the distance between the two things or 7 fourths x equals 2 or x equals 2 times 4 over 7 which is 8 over 7. Now 8 over 7 is the distance from d so 8 over 7 plus negative 1 is 1 um, this, this here is 0, 0 so it's a little bit above it it's, one, it's 0 comma 1 7 it's good to be able to get that vertex that way. So this is the this is an ellipse, and now I'm going to show you how we could find the equation of that ellipse. If we pick a random point on the ellipse, let's just say over there, and call it x y. It would have to be true that this distance would be three fourths of that distance. That number 3 fourths is actually known as the eccentricity of the ellipse. 
and it's going to be between 0 and 1 all the time, and the closer it is to 0, the more the ellipse looks like a circle, and the closer it is to 1, the more it looks like, like a parabola. So, this distance here, using the distance formula, is the square root of x squared plus y minus 1 squared. It has to equal 3 fourths of this distance here, and that distance is going to be, um, it's y minus negative 1 or y plus 1. I put it in absolute value in case um, it's below the line. Now when I square both sides, I get x squared plus y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals 9 over 16, parentheses y squared plus 2y plus 1. Multiply both sides by 16. 16x squared plus 16y squared minus 32y plus 16 equals, I like to distribute this 9 on the right, 9y squared plus 18y plus 9. Uh, move, the, move the 9y squared over to this side, it becomes 7x squared move this 18y over to this side, it becomes, um, sorry, that was x. Um, uh, what I meant was when I took away 9y squared from 16y squared, I get 7y squared. 16x squared still is that. When I subtract 18y from both sides, I get plus 50y. And I have this 9 here and I have a 16 there, so I get plus 7. So to write it out, a little bit neater. That's the equation of the ellipse. We'll leave it in this form.